Good morning, guys. Tommy Munts Family Homestead here on a Saturday morning, kind of early. Got several things to do. Cameron and I have got to go and mow three yards, so I'm not going to bore you with that. But want to give you a little update, uh, just a minute, on Lilo. You can't see it too much from there. If I can get her a shot there. See how wide she's kind of getting in the girth area and all. Pretty sure about a month and a half from now, hopefully and prayerfully, we'll have some more baby goats. So anyway, right quick, let me go show you where we are with Martha, our mother-to-be. <laughs> I see you. When you walk in out here, she starts that, that pretty little clucking noise. Can we come check you this morning? Can we come see? All right, let's just look just a minute. I'm not going to bother you. All right, I'm not going to bother you. You're good to go. Yes, you are. I know you're, you've are you been around in here for 21 days. So, well, it's actually 20 days. So, we're going to just stand by and check her again this afternoon. Let, let me get her some food right quick. Now, I have not raised baby chicks since I was a kid. And those of you that are laughing, yeah, that's 50 years ago. So, I know, I know. Give me just a minute, let me, I've got food, I've got food in this hand, I can't open both of them. There we go. Now I do clean her, her pen out every day. And there's some poo back there. I'm just, okay, no, no, we're not going anywhere. Just go ahead and eat. Go ahead and eat. You still got some water and everything, so Cameron and I are going to go mow. I'm not going to bother your babies over there. Of course, my wife, Alicia, she is really excited. She's wanting some more babies. But I told her, I said, those turn into those. <laughs> I just got through feeding everybody, and I've got one white chicken that's right there. Now, this one is bad. We call her anxiety because she gives us anxiety. <laughs> the other day, and we've clipped her wings. We've clipped all of them's wings. And somehow she just continues to get out. But over here in these daylilies behind the barn, that spot right there, there was 11 eggs in there. I don't know how, but I'm really not out looking for eggs out in the middle of the yard. So I've got to try to get her. And one thing about it too, the fence is down there. Uh, it's only uh, 40 inches high. So I'm probably going to have to go to TSC and pick up some more uh, chicken wire and go ahead and get them a, a longer and taller pen. Yep. She knows she's been caught. See? And she runs back out of the barn. Look at her. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, we've they, they actually, believe it or not, up under this netting, and like I said, it's only three, thir 36 or 30, 40 inches tall. There go our ducks. I don't have no idea where they were. They may have been in the pool. We need to go check that in a minute. <laughs> well, there's no waves in the pool, so that tells me that the ducks were not on the water. Yep, it's that time of the morning. Got several yards to do. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh, Are you ready? <laughs> Guys, Cameron and I went and mowed, came back, and there they are. I <laughs> uh, don't know where they were, where they went. All I know is when I was here, they came around there, went across, went around the barn, and went, I don't know. Just amazing to me. All right, now I got to finish my yard. I think what 
what we're going to do this year is I got all the old plastic off, all the boards that hold the plastic on here and here and over there. But I think what we're going to do, I think I'm going to half this bench. Uh, it's 12 feet long. I think what I'm going to do is maybe, I may just put four feet down there, what I may do. Uh, this is the pool cover we're supposed to put it on. And then I've got enough room in the barn I can take and store some of this other stuff. But what I'm going to do, I believe, is come in here and go from there to there and make us a couple of beds. Uh, I may have it in the middle right there. Hadn't made my mind up yet. But I think that's going to try to try to – I believe it's going to work better than just in pots. Now, we'll use some pots for some stuff, but – I think that's what I want to do. I should have put two by sixes there instead of two by fours because it it raised it up some. It wouldn't have been so t short there. But anyway, that is one of our next projects we've got to get done before frost. First week of October. I'm not, not talking to the camera. Uh, first week of, I mean, November is usually somewhere... It just depends. I mean, there's a pattern this weather weather system and all this kind of stuff, but it's hard to hard to describe really when we'll get a frost. Usually, before Thanksgiving is when we get a frost. So that's one project that we've got to get try to get done next week. This weekend we're in theater. We're doing a show. I'm trying to remember the name of it, but anyway, my wife and I are very very involved in theater along with Lindy and several of uh, our granddaughter is. So. Uh, just got through mowing the yard. Uh, I know we didn't get a lot accomplished today. Just some things that we've got going on and just a whole lot of stuff. So, today's Saturday. It's like I got stung by a wasp. That's not good. Or whatever it was. Uh, where was I? Today being Saturday, find you a good church tomorrow. Bible believing church tomorrow if you're not already in one. Have a wonderful and blessed weekend. Remember, God loves you. Please take care of yourself. And pre, please pray, pray for those that have been hit so hard by this hurricane in Florida up the East Coast. And thank you again for what you do for us and my family. God bless you.